Welcome back everybody. In this episode I'd very much like to share with you a sense of the pertinency of art in our lives and how we can bring our creativity to make our lives more empowering, more joyful and un- ostensibly just to, to make us m- more feel at one with ourselves and, and with nature. Um, we each have a thread within us and is to bring that thread into the fabric of our lives, to plant it with love to make all of our lives richer and the tapestry of life richer. And um, as an addendum to that, I would like to bring you to a place where I'm reading some of my favourite poems and to share with you some of the sense I have of life. And the first one I would like to, to begin with is actually called My Beginnings. Since I was a young child, the exploration of my universe has been through mark making. Through the innocence of this process, I found a means of communication with others, a point of contact. Plants, animals, people, birds, insects, the cosmos itself began to be revealed before my wide, curious eyes. It opened my life, my heart, my mind, something fundamental, was touched deep within me, each and every time. All was new. It was alchemy. It was beautiful. I felt my spirit soar, for I had found a universal language. For man, it has ever been thus. Since earliest times, This has been one of our most basic modes of interaction. Art draws on the essence of nature, the universe itself, connecting us to our rhythms and illimitable moods. When ancient man made marks in the cave walls, it was to reveal to their peers the mysteries of life, so also its practicalities. For the need for interdependence in their daily duties, if they were to survive, never mind thrive. Today, there has never been a greater need for art. Art celebrates all of the senses, giving the body balance and harmony, the soul and mind a sense of belonging. In the natural world, the function of each organism is to realise its fullest potentialities. That is its fundamental ethos. We have a need and a duty to create a society in which each of us has a chance to develop their creative abilities to the fullest in a caring and nurturing environment. We need to redefine our vision of how we wish the world to be. The eternal moment is now for our world is perishing through this very lack. Art works in the inner and the outer senses. Our children are the future. Unless they are nurtured and esteemed through the arts, the present behavioural decline in poverty in our society will continue to spiral down. My thoughts so much to many, they're not mine alone. To those who've gone before and lit the way, I give my love and thanks, for we are all blessed by their courage and example. And now, quite simply, it is our turn to pick up the torch and light the way for those who have yet to come. Ah, there is such a joy in celebrating nature, in being there and finding a place which touches you at a a deep intrinsic level, which acts as a wellspring for creativity, for to free the imagination and to just soothe the soul. One such place for me is Tom Marsh on Dartmoor, where last summer uh, we filmed uh, Art and Life, in which we had a magic time and the light and the the interaction with the wild ponies was, was so memorable and uh, on a very beautiful magical morn I painted 
larks are rising, a poem which I shall now read to you. Ah, such a perfect dawn. A crack between the worlds burst forth, light radiating spokes of fire. Then issues this day, revealing the wonder throughout this fine earth. So filled with elation, as I stand enchanted, held by the alchemy that spirals around, slowly my hand responds, pink in the sunlight, to my soul's bidding to dance with this light. Brushes start dancing, arcing and flashing, drawn by the urgency of my delight. Birdsong reverberates throughout my being. Larks are rising as my votive offering ascends, celebrating nature in all her pulsating glory. My canvas, it glistens as violet and gold swim as one, reflecting the evanescence shimmering around. The granite beneath me rings forth its power, celestially formed. And I sense earth and heaven draw ever closer and in a transfigured moment meld into one. From my last reading, I'd like to share with you a subject which is very near to my heart, and it is how we, as a society and as individuals, can celebrate art, is to celebrate our creativity in a way which touches everything and everyone, and creates a way of being which is gentler and more nourishing for all the world. In life, art and nature continually feed and nourishes through these roots. We receive the necessary inspirations and reassurance, which we find lacking in an increasingly arid Western society. Through nature, we find our roots, connecting us to our inner creative child. And from this, we discover the illimitable expansiveness of creative play. The importance of connecting with the expansiveness of the cosmos and of nature, for children and adults alike, for this enables us to interact in an atmosphere of mutual joy. Through learning new skills together, painting, making objects and music, telling stories, having fun, we develop an awareness of ourselves, each other, and for our environment. This plays a crucial role in keeping the creative spark fanned within us. In bringing out latent talents, we stretch each other, creating the dynamics for a more beautiful world. With close observation of our natural habitat, we see the infinite diversity of structure which underlies everything. This connects us to our own internal rhythms, cultivating our sense of naturalness and wonder for the abundance within everything. Art should mirror these resonances to reveal life's extraordinary variety through colour and light in a subtle manner which touches for all the essence, oneness of life. This is the healing of art through nature. Art has the capacity to reveal universal truths which awaken the individual to curiosity and helps them to find a clear picture of life. As individuals awaken and find the truths within themselves, it enables them to connect to their essential role in life. Educationalists and politicians want to manage society, yet they fail to understand our fundamental needs, which are created self-worth through real work, Neither point is being really addressed. As we use our brains and muscles less, as computers and robots are marginalises, we feel neither needed nor wanted, with no jobs or hopes for the future. 
This leads to torpor in the individual, with the malaise transmitted from adult to child. Seeing life as little meaning with no respect from society drives us to the fringes, isolated and alienated. We need at this time to learn from indigenous man and cultures. In Aboriginal society, which preceded Western caveman art by at least 10,000 years, they took only that which was needed in order to sustain life. They were sustained by elaborate rituals and myths. Working within the cycles of nature as well-rounded individuals, they were capable of telling stories, making music, and creating images in a unique interaction with life and the cosmos, truly a high culture. The development of the unique creative individualism of our children should be axiomatic to our educational system. For once the child is nurtured to develop their intuitive creative faculties, they have a centeredness, a true sense of self-esteem and worth, allied to wholesome self-discipline, they open their minds to innocence and the beginnings of an intelligence unhindered by social patterning and conditioning comes forth. They have the capacity, through the artistic mind of design, building, repairing, growing, healing, awareness, expansiveness, to roam freely and without prejudice. These skills are needed more than ever. There's a real joy in sharing these thoughts and ideas and realising that how society is is not necessarily how society has to be and that each of us can bring our own distinct visions and thoughts and creativity to making for a better world. It's uh, a joy to share with you and if any of these works touches your heart please feel free to connect with me and uh, to discuss them further. And perhaps you will take home some aspect of my world to share. Thank you very much for taking the time to view and uh, bless you all. Thank you. <laughs>